Welcome back. We love it when our friend Kylie Scales from Kylie's Kitchen is here because she's always given us great ways to take our food to the next level. Yeah. So today we're talking about Thanksgiving feast. She brought her little sous chef with oh, us to Penelope. Here she is, little and, Penelope. Oh, look at this little mm, cutie pie. So <laughs> yeah. and Are we showing just a shot of uh, Santa? <laughs> and this is Claus also the a cutie pie. Wait, Santa's here? I just looked. I'm like, what is happening? Is Santa here? Is Santa anyway, here? Okay. Uh, Kylie, welcome. Penelope, Kylie. welcome to you, Thank sweet you little so girl, much. little six-month-old sous chef over yeah, here. Look at she her. She just waved. She did. I think she knew she was on TV. Yeah, yeah. cutie. This is so simple because you have found a way to bring so much color to your Thanksgiving table and so much flavor. That's right, yes. So anyway, Thanksgiving is I got her. the same. You it's got a her. lot of, um, if you think about it, it's a lot of beige. Yeah. It's a lot of texture. I mean, it isn't a lot of texture. It's a lot of soft food. It's a lot of salty yeah. food. Take it for a but little anyway, <laughs> I think that um, our palate, I'm sorry. That That's all right. Distracting. Brian's taking her for a walk. She actually, she's calmed uh, down. Our, He's a dad. Our palates, yeah. yes. <laughs> our palates drive pleasure from variability. So we okay. need to add a little bit of something else to yeah, our Thanksgiving yeah. dinner. Great. So we're going to start with a little bit of crunch. Mm. Okay. Ooh, I like so that. You know how you buy like those fried onions? Yeah. From the store? Okay. Well, these are infinitely better. This is a okay. fried shallot, fried herby breadcrumb mixture. Mm. So easy. I just pan fried these on the stove. Okay. Yeah. And then all you do is you just sprinkle a little bit wherever you feel like. So this is just some dressing I'm sprinkling yep. on. You can also try it by the spoonful. Awesome. It's okay. delicious. Yeah. Uh, macaroni, potatoes. You know what? Just set a bowl out on your table and let people sprinkle it wherever they wherever want. Wherever they want. I love that. Yes. So a fried shallot. Yes. Okay. All right. And then we have a gremolata here. So gremolata, that is just... It's an Italian, like, um, herby, zesty, so it's just herbs, lemon zest, and garlic. And then I added some toasted walnuts to that. Okay. Walnuts and seeds are a great way to add crunch yeah. to most mm -hmm. any dish here. And so like I did with these colorful carrots here, just sprinkle a little bit of the gremolata on top, and it looks even more beautiful. That looks great. That looks so yeah. nice. Yeah, mm. and these colors. When's the last time you've seen purple on a Thanksgiving table? I That's know. a good point there. You're right. Yeah. There's so many beiges. It's Why not? very beige, yeah. brown, brown. Right. Yeah, little. so we're going to just brighten it up. And the easiest way to do that is through just some root vegetables. Okay. So I have carrots here. You can buy carrots of many colors yeah. just about anywhere. I roasted those with a little bit um, of cumin and coriander, and then I put a little harissa sauce on the end. Oh, wow. And then so we just have this really lovely spread. And I also decorated it with some pomegranate seeds. Yeah. Another oh, great way to wow. add color. Never that was thought. such a yeah. good way to do that. Right, yeah. That's and cool. then also we have some colorful cauliflower there too as well so yeah you can buy purple cauliflower from the store does Who it knew? taste any different than regular cauliflower it does not Why taste different yeah, but it does it. cost more money mm. so <laughs> be honest that's delicious you it like is it? delicious mm -hmm. right really good. yeah um, okay, so we have our texture, we have our color. Now let's talk about acid. Okay, okay yes. so maybe something you haven't really thought about. So if you taste a dish and you're like, hmm, this tastes kind of flat and boring, yeah. you probably need some acid in there. Okay. okay. My favorite ways to incorporate acid are through wine, vinegar, and like citrus juice. Okay. So here we have a chutney here. I have little sampling spoons yeah. if you want to try Ooh. it. This is kind Thank of a sweet you. heat chutney. It started sweet. with um, some dates and some jalapeno and ginger, and then I add Added, uh, parsley and cilantro and lime and that just gets blended up and until it's mostly smooth mm. add wow. that on just about anything um, I love also that. turkey I love this. yeah I right I Isn't that just really dip a bunch tasty? Of chips in there. Yeah, mm. and then um, cranberry sauce is so popular for Thanksgiving because yep. that's an acid, and we need that acid to balance the flavors. Yep. But mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of the sweet cranberry sauce, super sweet. Okay. Right. I feel like that takes away from the turkey and everything. So mm. this is kind of a savory cranberry sauce right. with some shallot and jalapeno. Uh, jalapeno can you tell? Huh? Yeah, it has a little bit of that heat at the end. It's not super spicy, but I think adding a little bit of heat. To mm. your Thanksgiving table. It's just right at the end. It really makes things a little bit different. It's not that. Is no, it's it really? tart. It's just tart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's good. It's really I mean, good. I guess you don't normally just eat spoonfuls of cranberries. You just look like Penelope, like trying, like a baby trying something. Yeah. Like, hmm, I don't know if I like this. She's like, I didn't like it either. Yeah. No, that is delicious, though. I love it. I love that. It's very right. unexpected. 
perspective. Yeah. And it got a little bit of heat from the jalapeno, not a overbearing. A little bit. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, so it'll be really great for just about, even if people say they don't like heat. Yeah. It'll be fine for nice. them. Yeah. So I like a bunch that. of different ways. I love ways. that. A little yeah. twist on it. When in doubt, also just add some fresh parsley okay. before serving yeah. something. Mm -hmm. cool. More color, yeah. more pop, more freshness. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Go to Kylie's KylieSKitchenBlog.com for all these recipes and more. Kylie, we love having you on the show. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Yeah, people love Great. your recipes. I know. Oh, I told you, you my Julian. mom already said she was going to make one of your recipes. Right, so yeah. Yeah. We've been popping those up on the screen. We'll get it up on the website because we know this will be so fun to make for Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you Kylie. Yeah, still to come, we're going to learn about a new holiday shopping show that's coming to Grand Park in Westfield over Thanksgiving weekend. And there we go. We see our friends now. Find out how you can meet these guys and get a free ticket. Plus, we'll introduce you to an amazing Hoosier who's using plastic bags to create bedding for the homeless in our community. And we'll ask her how you can help. We'll be right back.